the time on the front right, might even be the best start there from the driver on the outside, which is the very experienced Nev Kirkpatrick it is. Nev number 11 has got into the lead of the race there from uh, Ian Slark in second. Then it's David Kirkpatrick in third place as they go down to Hatchets for the first time. Ian Slark squeezes back for on the inside, and David Kirkpatrick might get through on the inside as well. So we've got the first six cars, the Supers, already starting to make a bit of a break away from the rest, but they're having a real dead and double fight, aren't they, Craig? As they come uh, out of Spitfire through to Benny for the first time. Yeah, fantastic job by all of the drivers. They literally must have listened to everything we were saying earlier, just make it through the first corner and then back on as normal. But yeah, great start from Ian Slark. Great uh, opening lap as well from uh, Nevin Kirkpatrick and Dave also sitting behind his brother there, uh, looking for an inside move through the right hand up. Yeah, Did he quite get it done? Yeah, okay. the centre S is there and heading down to uh, Brooklyn's hairpin for the first almost 20 minute race. This so a bit longer than some of the races that we've had already. We've, we've had lots of red flags and early checkers already, so hopefully it will give the uh, the full distance. There is the mighty mini class uh, battle though, and is that Price that's ahead of that at the minute? Yeah, so it's Mark Price just in front of Dan Smith there. I mean, watch out for Dan, he's, he's looking very, very quick. Obviously, he didn't finish both races at uh, Castle Coombe, which is a real shame, but he got the radiator fixed, he got the HT leads. Uh, stuck together with some cable ties and he looks very very fast as they're coming through the Honda uh, curve there and it looks absolutely sensational, he's in the toe now, he's on the back of Mark Price, can he get this done, we're on with him now, down the inside, is he going to have a look, he's got a little bit of chrome bumper uh, hanging off the back there, he's in the wall on the right hand side, hard on the brakes through hatchets, is he going to get that done through the hairpin, yes he does, great move there. Yeah, meanwhile, we just look, there we are, and there's the confirmation, there's Smith getting through on the inside of Hatchet's head, and you can see that bumper just uh, dragging slightly behind the, uh, behind the car, which the officials will take note of that, and might give it potentially the black and orange uh, meatball flag, say, you know, we've got bits hanging off, he's got a to get that taken off, he's really hoping, if he knows about it, but that is not what he sees next time he crosses the finish line, because he's just made a great move to get the lead of the race away from number four, Mark Price, then. Yeah. And uh, then in the next position in that class, it is uh, Graham Shepherd, isn't it? The winner from Castle Coombe. Yes, it is. You can see Graham, again, very quick driver. Had his first race win at Castle Coombe uh, a month ago and uh, looking very quick. He's now back on the, these guys as they come through uh, Brooklands there and uh, back on the power as they come through Carters. And uh, looks at Darren Nightingale's uh, made a bit of a contention there he's now getting on the back of uh, Graham Shepherd as well so it could be a four car battle for the door and also uh, Sam Slater there who's the uh, uh, indoor karting championship uh, champion at Bristol he's now on the back of this as well so watch out for Sam Slater who's making a move with fast start going to Dave Kirkpatrick in the supers yeah he's still there in third place but looking at welcome to box windows but a lot of pressure on his brother for second place overall we're sticking with the 90 minutes for the moment though and looking at this battle for, for fourth place which is just flagged up to down nice and little dance which is right to the right uh, <laughs> of uh, Sam Slater as they are heading down into Hatchet's hairpin to the novice cross there on the back of uh, Sam Slater's class who is a relative newcomer to racing and whereas Dan's got a bit more experience under his belt Yeah, he was very confident uh, Darren he absolutely enjoyed himself last time out uh, for rounds one and two and uh, with Sam Slater behind him again this is great uh, experience for uh, Sam uh, to sit on the back of someone that is very experienced in Darren uh, Nightingale so we'll see what he can do and, in, and you know, we might get a bit cheeky and have a little pass at some point uh, behind them, a couple of seconds behind them, Susie Inch in uh, 12th place next. The six car uh, next up, which is uh, Paul Pollitt, a little bit further back. Uh, as we're watching them make their way through the Brooklyn's head, and there's 1.3 uh, I. Uh, Mighty Minis having a really good scrap. What kind of lap times are they doing there? The Mighty's are lapping in this one from 122 to the Supers, they're out in 116. So this makes six seconds of lap difference between the two different categories. Yeah, and it looks like also the rain's sort of holding out, isn't it? So, uh, Hopefully we'll stay like that, but Inslark has just got faster yet again. There we go, 116.21 uh, there. So awesome stuff. There's a side-by-side -side battle for the lead between Dave and Nev Kirkpatrick. I don't know what's happening there, but it uh, looks like he's getting a bit interested at the back of the pack of the uh, Mighties, which is really good to see. It's great to see Laura Harris. She's been out for four years of Mighty Minis, and she's now back, and she's up with the guys. It's absolutely fantastic. Great job. There's the 93 car. That's Sam Slate trying to find the way past <laughs> Darren Nightingale down there. Actually, it's on lap four. It's on the race, well, or has he, because he's then got the right hander there, but it's the left hand sweep up to Benny, so if he can keep the car there, he might sweep oh, the inside, yes he has done it, beautiful. nice move for Sam Slater. Beautiful job by Sam, just made the car sit where he wanted it to sit, made sure he had the inside line, Darren, great, a bit of respect there as well, great etiquette, and uh, gave him the room.
Great job by Sam. Great job. Yeah, very nicely done indeed. Um, James Jenkins, I can tell you, is the car at the back in the 16th position at the moment. Susie Inch is going to come under attack here from Paul Hollett there with the number six car, so that's for 12th position. There's James Jenkins, just mentioned him, just behind Laura Harris there in the number 30 car. The overall links are just buzzing past our commentary box window, and it's going to be uh, an attack on for the lead there, I think, as we are watching the uh, battle for the... Here we are, it's the battle for the lead here, down at the hairpin. It's left Kirkpatrick to the outside line of number one there, Ian Slark. Couldn't make it through there, though. Steve Rydow's just in the best up of the race from a fifth position. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, it was a bit of a confusion. All oh, sorry, this is just going off on the grass as they come up with their Hondas there. Luckily, he managed to sort that out. But, yeah, Steve Rodat, is, uh, he's been around. He's been around a long time. He knows how to drive a Mini. And uh, also raced in the Mini 7s uh, last week at Coombe. So, uh, he's had a little bit of practice. Uh, let's see if he can close up with these guys. Still plenty of time to do so. But they're battling at the front. Ian Slark's still in the lead from Kirkpatrick. Uh, Nevin, that is. And Dave Kirkpatrick, his brother, just behind him. So, that's a little bit of interest there. there. Yeah. Brothers. <laughs> Absolute Dave Kirkpatrick with that. Very uh, in, you know, in striking Union flag livery, which is draped over the uh, the top of the car, isn't it? It's absolutely fantastic. So you can certainly spot uh, Dave Kirk. After these three have had four seconds to give everyone else. We're going to get a change, are we? Oh, great move at Carter's that. Wow. But left Kirk Patrick, that's a very fast part of the circuit. Now they're on the brakes to go through the 90 degree right hander at Honda to end the lap. They're coming through to complete lap number five. Someone's getting the driving standards flag. It's the number 93 class. That's Sam Slater from the Mighty Minutes who's getting the driving standards flag. Mm. Um, so we'll keep an eye out if there's any further uh, changes with that. But we've had that change for the lead then, left Kirk Patrick. That's a great move, wasn't it? It was absolutely beautiful, wasn't it? He literally pinned it, got it on the inside, made sure he. He, he had just enough room, a little bit of paint. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, that's right. <laughs> right, as we're watching those three leaders turn their way through to Benny, the sweeping uh, left hander just behind our common trip position, passing the crossing. Yeah, yeah. Cars and pedestrians have to cross the circuit to get into and out of the paddock. Then it's the right hander at Senna S's. Left Patrick here has got into the lead, and I sense this, just starting to. Make a little bit of a break here, is he, from uh, from Ian Slark. A few car lanes between them. And David Kirkpatrick just starting to drop off a little bit at the, uh, the top two as well. Yeah, I think the, uh, the, the track's starting to come to him now. Nevin was very, very fast in qualifying. He was he was getting that car sideways. It was great to watch. Doesn't mean it's, it's fast, no. but uh, he had a lot of confidence in the car going around the corners. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, as he's coming around now, going a lot quicker this time round. Stuart Coombs is struggling at the moment. Not expecting that from Stuart. Obviously, fast slap round Coombe. Uh, for race one and two, but he's, he's still there. He's got uh, Mark Ditchburn just in front who had to pull the front end of his car out after an accident with uh, Ian Slark uh, in qualifying, and uh, that, has, that ended his uh, qualifying quite rapidly. But Stuart uh, looking for a pass down here, but not quite not quite there, and uh, Ditchburn managing to hold that fifth place. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? He's dropping his golf ball at the last match. Mm. He's got to sort of uh, sit in the final of the Super Bowl two minutes in the, in the race here today, so a little bit. Supposed to should pick with uh, how this weekend's going so far. So this is the final fifth and sixth overall, and fifth and sixth in Super Mighty Minis as well. I can see that out of our window, the Mighty Minis are heading down into Hatchet's hairpin, and they are pretty much side by side. Is it going to be Mark Price or Sam Dan Smith? Yeah. He's gone wide there, hasn't he? He's gone really, really wide coming into Hatchets there, Ian. And um, yeah, you can see Shepard's now. got it. Shepard's got second place, and now that's put uh, Mark Price right back into third place. And Dan's looking very comfortable out the front there. He was under pressure, but a little mistake there from Pricey. And uh, Mr. Sh uh, Je uh, Mr. Shepard has gone into second. Yeah, so Blaine Shepard went out at Castle Coombe in uh, one of two races there. Darren Nightingale it was up a little bit, and a bit like uh, Stuart Coombe. I mean, Nightingale is one, two, three, four, fifth in his class. So again, he's a bit further back than he would have liked to have been. And that's Kirk Patrick's just doing the best off the race. One fifteen point six eight now. Impressive stuff, yeah. I mean, like I said, you're just going to get faster and faster now as Nev, and uh, it's a shame because Emily's not here. Sports day with the kids. Okay. Uh, but a third and fourth for the children, so uh, I'd be very, very happy with that. Uh, I got that information directly from Emily, so uh, good luck to her. And, uh, but Nevin is definitely starting to make uh, an increase, isn't he? But uh, still, the mighty minis at the moment, uh, still Dan in front of Shep, but again, Mark Weiss has got on the back of this. He's not giving up, is he? Ten minutes to go. Yeah, still half the race left, isn't it? So, uh, no, uh, no shortage of time in this race for Mark Price to try and strike back after that uh, moment down at St. Patrick's Airport on the previous lap. Yeah. So they're on the brakes now for 
No hatchets on this lap. This is lap eight of the race. Price bet as he goes a lot deeper into the corner, trying to get a better cut back on the exit, but I'm not sure that's really working out for him. Yeah. Just at the moment. I mean, uh, it was a very in or a very interesting line, but maybe it's starting to get dry there. Maybe he's seen something that nobody else has seen, and we might see that develop in about you know, the nine uh, and a half minutes to go. And uh, it looks very, very interesting. But he has definitely closed up on Shepard now, hasn't he? And he's looking for that again. Another interesting line going a lot wider this time. Might get a cut back here. But again, oh, look at Shepard's wheels. I mean, literally, full lot left. It's absolutely brilliant as they cover through the uh, set of S's. Brilliant. Yeah, so heading out of Senna down towards the Brooklyn's hairpin. Uh, these three cars battling for the lead in the, uh, the Mighty Minis. Uh, Super Mighty Minis, it's Stephen Kirkpatrick about second in front of Ian Slark. So it's 11 from 1 and 10 out front. 45 from 9 and 40 top 3 in the Mighty Minis part of the race. They are heading away to the right hand flick at Carter. And actually, uh, Smith's getting away now a little bit, isn't he? So obviously there's a bit of gap over there between first and second in the lighters. Yeah, it looked like there's a little bit... Oh, Shepard just a little bit wide and a little bit skittish as he comes off the exit of Hondas, but that's given Mark the opportunity on the left-hand side, but we're with the leaders at the moment, and uh, Slark is... St well, we see Dave is now closing up on Slarky now, uh, and there is uh, Steve Rideout in fourth. Now, he's just come out of nowhere. I know, yes, he's four seconds behind the leader, but I tell you what, they're all in the same shot, and that means something with eight minutes to go. Uh, great by the oh, 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 box. This is for uh, well, the 12th over. Ray Summers has got the front of that rally from the Western Sports Specials with the 750 most of this. Is the back we're looking at now, number six, which is Paul Hollett. Uh, breaks a little bit too late. You got ahead of a couple of the cars. He's dropped right back behind them again, but he just outbreaks himself there. And I think he's gone basically to second to last position there. He's fallen behind. James Jenkins, think Laura Harris is behind Laura as well? Possibly not, but it is Ollie Samways there in the uh, 58 car. Yeah, Ollie's uh, new driver, yeah. Ollie's new driver so for this week uh, using one of the uh, Octane Racing uh, cars, the 58 driver, and uh, he's got a bit of a background as well, racing the BR SCC, uh, uh, was it the Club and Cup and, yes. uh, for the MR2s. He's a very good driver, he's very consistent, uh, owns a road and race safety, so uh, it, we've seen some more of him, I'm pretty sure. And there's a nice little, uh, oh, that's a little bit aggressive there, wasn't it? But, uh, oh, Shep's managed to, oh, there's a little bump there with Darren Nightingale. He went a little bit skittish going through Honda Curve, lost the back, but it uh, looks like Darren saved him there, Ian. Yeah, it looks like it. So they're heading down to the hairpin again. Is there certainly some damage, I think, to the front of the Dust Knight in car number 37? Shepard back through on the inside. Sam Slater that sort of uh, made his way, but he's had a five second penalty on his time stamp, so I think the number 93 car, ninth on the road, that would be for exceeding track limits. And that probably, it's so right, suggests that the conditions are improving. If people are now having the confidence to, to push a little bit too far in some case. Yeah, I mean, that was a little bit too confident, bless him, but it was, uh, it was great. The birthday boy as well, um, it was his birthday this week, uh, out on Facebook, uh, telling everyone to uh, wish him a birthday. If they didn't, um, I hope you got sunburns. So that's a really nice uh, little message. But yeah, he's, he's got his confidence now, building up, six minutes to go, track drying, it's on, isn't it? See what, see, see what he can make in the race. So we're watching there. They've got him Shepherd and then Daz Nightingale. So they are 10th and 11th on the road, but Nightingale carries more speed out than he that time. So as they head to the fast, flat out right hander at Carters, can Nightingale go around the outside of it? Oh, yes, he can. Beautiful. Sweeps through. Beautifully done, yeah. Mistake there from Shepherd. Got stuck in the mud quite literally. And uh, in goes. Night, uh, Nightingale flat position, but uh, it looks like it's a big, big gap there between um, Dan Smith and Pricey, but there's another battle going on well, here. We've now got the leaders, the super yeah. the leaders, in amongst the back group of the mighty, so Nefka Patrick is trying to pick his way past Susie Inch and also past uh, Ollie Samways as well. He's done that at Honda. Oh, wow. And he's got through, nicely scythed his way through there. But it starts at something, I think it's one of the stickers that's come <laughs> yes. in, sort of flapping in the breeze there as he comes across the start and finish line. Uh, there you can see David Kirkpatrick, he's uh, cleared Susie Inch as well. Susie trying to get back on the inside of Ollie Samways here for position uh, 12, that would be. And she's done it nicely, done it, Susie, up uh, there at Hatchet's Hairpin. Oh, she did fantastic in qualifying. The confidence was beaming. We went and saw her in the paddock. She was really happy. Oh, and nice pat in the back as well. But yeah, she's leaving this pack at the moment. Uh, Samways is there just behind her. Uh, 
and uh, you can see Jenkins has now got into this mix as well, so it's great to see those guys, but at the moment still Nevin holding, but Ian Slot did a fantastic job going from Honda Curve there, because that could have changed everything, but yes. he got such a good exit. It was really a decisive moment of the race, it was. wasn't it? Uh, it's only going to happen once when they sort of have to deal with that traffic, and uh, Nev Kirkpatrick dealt with it very well. And to be fair, Ian and David Kirkpatrick also, as long as is, and David Kirkpatrick also dealt with it nicely, they're all still there pretty equidistant as they, they come through at Carters again. Just less than five minutes to go now, so probably going to be, I think, four more laps to go at the end of this one to make it a oh, 60 lap race. Yeah, and there we go, Ian Slark's gone off the track and he's going to save it! Oh, that's a very good save again from Ian Slark. Absolutely fantastic save from Ian Slark, but that's given Dave the opportunity now to go down the outside into the braking zone that hatches hairpin and he's got second. Nevin. Uh, there is still first, but fastest lap to David after that there. Yeah, big, big moment. So you've seen the pit wall looming large. <laughs> uh, and he's been very keen to keep out of that, uh, of course. Uh, in, uh, because that would have been a heavy hit had he gone off. But uh, that will resolve his many, many years of uh, part of the race and experience and, uh, and got it back into a straight line, albeit he did lose that position. But still four minutes to try and get that back. There's the mighty minis, that back for 12 overall again in Gold, and sees the engine on the same way, still getting these positions again actually. Uh, Mark Ditchburn, we just saw, saw go through a shot there, he's in fifth place overall in the super mighty mini part of the race. There's Samways, and it's Samways now with the Jenkins behind, isn't it? Because uh, Susie Inch is ahead of him now. Yeah, so he's doing a good job. You can see uh, uh, Laura Harris is still on this part. I'm really impressed with, with uh, Laura. She was a little bit underconfident, but uh, a little mistake there going in to uh, Brooklyn's there. I'm not that, too sure who that, that was. Susie Inch. Yeah, Susie Inch, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think she's now getting a little bit more confident. It was a good job, actually. She got the advantage that she had over yes. She's kept the position. We have had a change there because that's. Uh, the 32 car of uh, Jenkins that's got the head now of Samways and Nora Harris is going to go for it. Samways has got a problem, just made a mistake there because obviously he's just lost a little bit from round. Yeah, just going to see if we can hear him when he goes past. Sounds okay, but it's great again. You can see uh, Ditchburn is now having a little battle here with uh, Stuart Coombs at the back. So Stuart Coombs has got past and uh, he's going to have a low, he's very late on the brakes, is he going to try around the outside, is the grip there, that's going to be a good move, oh fantastically done, he's done it, brilliant. Yeah, so Ditchburn back ahead to fifth place, he's going to try and put Laura Harris <laughs> between himself, and I'm actually just is the yellow flag on there, I think there might be, you know, uh, and this does the yeah, yellow flag, yellow flag. hopefully, uh, from uh, Mark Ditchburn's point of view, that incident was uh, not full of it's the Shepherd car. I think it's Shepherd, yes, um, Shepherd, is. yes, so he has come to a stop by the looks of it, he was, I think, up in third place in that class at one point in this race, the winner from Castle Coombs. He's got oh, a good game That's, That's good. good news. Yeah, we, no red flags yet, which is fantastic. It was we wanted, what we wanted. Longest race and no red flags. Fantastic stuff. But still, well uh, done, nice minutes, yeah, well done, guys. Absolutely fantastic. And girls. And girls. Absolutely. <laughs> but it, it's good to see some, some female races on the grid as well. Great to see that. Uh, oh, has always had that good gender balance in there as we're watching uh, Das Nightingale had been lapped now by the race leader Nev Kirkpatrick so Das Nightingale is fourth within the mighty minutes so Kirkpatrick got quite past that sort of uh, rear group for mighty minutes he's now trying to work himself through the quick path which will be slightly more uh, challenging I think. Yeah, it's getting a little bit more interesting now, isn't it? With the uh, with no rain, so obviously the the guys getting a lot faster in the supers, which has made a massive difference. Obviously now they're leading laps. I mean, it, that's just, it just shows the uh, increased grip that the, the uh, guys in the supers are getting now. Yeah, lap times uh, 115.63, the best lap for David Kirkpatrick, but uh, not actually too many improvements. They didn't to improve on the last lap for some Slater. That's a good lap to the mighty minutes there. Watching Ian Slark, so he's just got past Nightingale to He's in third place overall. He's not been able to get that second place back from Dave Kirkpatrick after he had that uh, after he had that big moment at Honda about three laps ago. Yeah, indeed, and uh, he's still pushing. Is he still trying? He's trying to get on the back of these guys, but it's just not enough. But is there at the fun here? Just going to see to, to just change a minute for the mighty minis because it looks like uh, Mark Price actually catching Dan Smith. It's, uh, it has dropped down slightly, hasn't it? But this battle at the back. Oh, Paul was a very wide there. Paul got it there. That was interesting. Mark Price is just in his best lap of the race. Actually, wow. running at twenty point three six. He was six tenths quicker than Dan Smith on that lap. So the gap there has come down to. It's about 1.2 seconds. Fantastic job by them. And again, these two, uh, Ditchburn and uh, Stuart Coombs, have the great battle as they come over the start-finish straight. Brilliant stuff to see them. And uh, again, you can see 
the guys at the front. This is Nevin and uh, David Kirkpatrick still holding its first and second being Slark third, wide out fourth, Ditchburn fifth, uh, Coombs uh, for the Supers in sixth. And that bumper's still hanging off. It's yeah. coming up a little bit more now, was not it? Yeah, but it's obviously <laughs> it's well fixed on. That's Dan Smith leading the mighty winner, so he's a bit further up the road, isn't he? And it's because he's going to get lapped by the, the overall leaders, because he's going to have one more lap to do. Yeah. Yeah. We probably don't really want another lap no, to do at this stage, stage because yeah. he's been caught by Mark Price. The leads are on their last lap. The clock, as you can see, has counted down to zero now. So we're going to see uh, Neff Kirk Patrick, I think, come through to take the checker flag very shortly. But we still oh, have a Yes. I, if he stays behind them, they might. Oh, he's never going to get it. Is, is he going to cross the line in time? Yes, they yes. are. Oh, so they so the check flag's gone out now. Ah, uh, right, okay. Well, they, I think, they can go. Yeah, yeah, sure, they, they can go. go. They don't know, do they? They, they yeah, should Mark be going. Price was just ahead, I think, of Neff Kirkpatrick. I think Neff was aware of that check of flag coming out. I thought, I better not uh, interrupt their race, but they do look like That's they interesting. Might have slowed. Dan's yeah. realised, Dan's realised, he's yeah, obviously he's, got something he's, going he's on. Exactly. And I think now, I think now Mark, <laughs> and Mark Mark's realised. Really oh, what so a shame. The race is over. Neff Kirkpatrick's taken the win by 2.8 seconds from David Kirkpatrick in second. 32 in slot. Fourth to Stephen Ryder, fifth to Mark Ditchburn, sixth to Stuart Kings. Let's go pick up on the mighty mini battle which is heading.